whole time on October 1st, I'm giving 10 of my Instagram followers who consistently like and comment on my Instagram page $100 each just for supporting me. And an additional Instagram supporter is going to receive a free pair of the newly released Apple AirPod Force with the active noise cancellation engraved and personally signed by me. The winners will be announced on my Instagram story. Make sure you follow me at Corporate Zero Zero. Blessings. As a token of my appreciation for my Snapchat followers, periodically I'm gonna be giving away cash prizes. So make sure you tap in like this baby can you like this baby can you like this Mm. baby can you like this like this video y'all tweaking and don't forget to subscribe to my official twitch the actual corporate i got more cash giveaways coming soon hi guys it's brazil marie i just started my new youtube channel so please go subscribe and tell me what content you guys want to see from me Hey, that shit over. Hey, that shit over. Deep Brooks exclusive. Had some people that was close to me. They ain't dead, they just smoked to me as always. Made they bed and now they laying on it. Be careful what you say, you gotta stand on it. Hey, uh, that shit over. Don't accept your apology, that shit over. Ain't no texting or calling me, that shit over. Blessings. Whole time, I got a new album on the way. And any future visuals from that project or other freestyles and music that I'm dropping is only going to be released on my new music YouTube channel, Corporate Music. So make sure y'all go subscribe ASAP. Appreciate you. Huh. On the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. Nah, but on the last episode of Black Chicago Be Like Part 119, Part 12. The motorcyclist gave me the job of killing Pronto. And after doing a background check, he found out I had a mother and a sister that he could use as collateral to make sure that the job got done. He cashed me out $5,000 on the spot and sent me a black truck back home. Soon as I got there and made sure that TZ was nowhere in sight and the perimeter was secure, I hopped in the shower, packed my necessities in Brazil Marie stuff, and hightailed it up out of there. I knew I couldn't stay there no more. Changed my number too. Thank God I thought quick on my feet cause the next morning, TZ definitely showed up with him and his goons. Armed and dangerous. Rushed all through the crib looking for me, but to no avail, they couldn't find me. Left them folks with no choice but to pack up and try again another time. End up going to get my locks retwisted to clear my mind by this girl I used to work with. She ended up getting me in tune with this girl that be putting fuckers in apartments. Got me an appointment for later on that day to see what was out there that I could move into. Had to take care of some business beforehand though. I came up with a plan. I ended up hitting Pronto up. Told him to meet me to get a cyber truck I didn't have. Called TZ and got him riled up. Had him to meet me at the same low. Risky operation, but my back was against the wall. I pull up low key in an Uber to watch the whole plan go down. As planned, Pronto pulled up and TZ pulled up. Getting that pull up with a stick, let it hit. Unknowingly shooting Pronto whip all the way up. A light show. After TZ and his crew fled the scene, I FaceTimed the motorcyclist and showed him that the mission was complete. All in perfect timing too, allowing me to make my appointment with Sandy to see about the apartments. She showed me two different little woo-wops, both decent as hell. One of them was even located in downtown Chicago. It wasn't easy to choose between the two. And that's why I asked for y'all help. Well, the people have spoken and y'all have elected for me to rock with option A. Say less. Ah, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the last woo-wop. 
she say less i'm gonna do what i gotta do on my part and i might be able to get you some keys tomorrow but no later than 48 hours okay ah man sound like a plan thank you she okay i need to get a little bit of information from you right quick okay ah for sure and locked in squaring that away lifted the biggest burden off of my shoulders felt like i had a new haircut as refreshed as i felt satisfied the motorcyclist got teasy off my productive day I pulled my phone out to FaceTime tip and give her my new line. Answering the phone outside the camera, she hop on. Oh, hey, babe. I ain't know who this was. Chuckling, I, yeah, I got a new number, babe. I want to make sure you get it. I think that's what all kids do whenever they get somebody to hit their line and they don't know who it is. They got to put that camera up to the sky first. She, every time. What you up to, honey? Ah, right, none much. Running around taking care of some business. What you up to? She at work right now i can't wait to get off are you busy later tonight though ah my schedule pretty clear what's up she well i have a surprise for you so meet me at my house later about 10 okay ah oh, okay for sure say less i'll see you at 10 she okay babe see you later ah i right, and hung up perfect i had somewhere to sleep for the night all i needed to do was put some food on my stomach i pulled out the app for jerk 48 and place me an order for jerk chicken and shrimp alfredo allowing a chance for my food to be ready soon as i pull up a blessing now as i'm pimping up to my truck to head toward jerk 48 i find to my surprise an unfamiliar gentleman posted by my vehicle with a pair of lousy loafers a pinstripe suit and gloves impersonating the likeness of michael jackson i looked around expecting for hidden cameras to reveal themselves but they didn't he just stood there looking at me with battery operated movements reminiscent of the late great. Ah, excuse me, hold, hold time. That's my truck cutting me off. He, 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 confused and scratching the back of my neck. Ah, nah, what I'm saying, bro, that, that's my truck cutting me off a second time. He, 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 on one, blowing the out of me. Ah, I, listen here, Mike Jack, you got to beat it. He, you said beat it, beat it. Kick feet up, oh, ah, ooh, ah. hit the spin, fist pose. In my head, I'm, nah, you ain't gonna give it to me like that. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The way you making me feel. He, you said the way you making me feel. The way you making me feel. Ah. Oh. Hitting more choreography. Life one nowhere near real at that point. Had to be in a parallel universe. I, I, bro, that's enough, bro. I, I, I got a gut cutting me off. He, he, he. Instantly get to getting that. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Oh, man, what? I realized what I needed to do. I needed a good deed under my belt anyway. I dig in my pocket, pull out a hundred. I needed Buddy to get the gone. I pimp up to him, give him the money. After taking it out of nowhere, he, oh. Hit one more move and get the moon walking in reverse. At least half a mile down the block. Got the bread and proceeded to exit stage left. Clearly a smooth criminal. Eventually I pull up the jerk 48, bop inside. And who I see? Teasy side chick, Bernice. The one he had with him when I did the boat ride with Tip. Turning to the counter, I whole time I did an order through the app. Uh, my name Bartholomew Smith. The lady Bartholomew Smith. Give me one second, I'll go check on that. And went to peek in the back while I peek it up back. Anxiety was too high to really enjoy the sight for real. I ain't want Bernice to share my existence with Teasy. Casually turning around, she Bartholomew. Damn, turning to I. Oh, hey, hey. She, hey, what's up with you? Nervously responding, I uh nothing much wishing i was invisible she you ain't gotta act like that i don't even with teasy no more relieved i oh yeah oh man that's 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 unfortunate she not really his played with me too much i had to get him to go out of the I, oh yeah Pfft. man it it definitely be like that sometimes for sure nice to see you again though she is it well, it was nice to see you again, too. What you be on? What you be up to? Her son, she is just playing. She do not care. Disregard. Hands up. I, I don't want no smoke, young king. Bernice, boy, hush. Take my number. I, I got a girlfriend whole time. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
Shorty that I was with uh, when I saw y'all on the boat. She, that's fine. We could just be friends. That's cool. Hopefully she wasn't trying to backdoor me out. Uh, okay. Pulling my phone out. I, what's your line? She, 312-612-66. Woo. Ah, I, I bet I got you locked in. I just text you. The lady, all right. Here's your uh, chicken and shrimp Alfredo. Ah, blessings. I don't even need a bag the whole time. I'm finna eat this go right now. She, I know that's right. Before proceeding to unpackage my hot portions, she set it in front of me. Ah, blessings. I rip open my plastic utensil, unlid my personal service, and had at it. First fork full, steaming. Ah, <laughs> hot as hell looking at Bernice. Ah, I talked to you, walking out, she bye. I had a purpose for her for sure. I bop out the restaurant, feet in my face. As soon as I step out, who I see? Pretty skinny, belling out of her car. Yes, the same girl that set me up and had my fuckers running all in my crib with pipes out. Immediately on that for sure. I walk towards her. She spot me, stop right in her tracks, get the backing up. She ain't know what to do. Uh uh uh, exposed pipe. Uh uh right here nah check it out i get the director her tour of my truck we had to talk about a few things she bell in she probably never want to eat jerk again after this run in i closed door and sat out why you do that shit though while eating my hot portion she it was just a little come up situation to get some money for my kids it wasn't nothing personal our buddy tried to pop me not to mention, you don't even know my little sister was in there. He could have killed my little sister too. She, I ain't gonna lie. I promise I did not know he was trying to do that for real. I swear. All right, give me one reason why I shouldn't pop your ass right now. In between fork fool, she, I promise you like, I'm so sorry. Please don't do that. With a deep sigh, I, I just want to let you know. That sh was bogus as hell. I really thought you was coming over to do my hair. And you set me up on some other sh I hope you don't do no like that again for real because I could really kill you right now. I could really kill you right now. I don't feel bad about being in a position to kill you. You almost took me away from my sister and could have potentially took my little sister away from me. She nah like you ain't never lied. I'm so sorry for real for real. Ah, some telling me I should pop your ass but I'm gonna let you live though before taking another fork fool. You can go on about your business lady. She, thank you so much. I appreciate you for real, for real. And damn that fell on her face, belling out of my truck. I thought to myself, let me pull off her. She called my fucks that back door me again. Meanwhile, at the coroner's office, Detective Tuoli been doing this a long time. I can never get used to being around all those dead bodies. Tip, I don't know. It's just something about the smell of embalming fluid that just gets me going. Heat, different strokes for different folks for sure. Heat, but I can't wait to get this body back to the lab for testing. She, I know it. All we need to do is find a little piece of someone's DNA and we got something. He, man, anything's better than the nothing we already got. She, I mean, at this point, anything's possible. Cause we know he was shot, but what if he actually died from strangulation or something? He, I don't know if somebody strangled him. He was a pretty big guy. Somebody had to shoot him. She, well, the sooner the people in here can give us answers, the sooner we'll know. He, a, hey, ain't the debate for Kamala and Trump is going on tonight. She, actually it is. Who do you think is going to take it? He, man, it's hard to say. Who you think? She, well, I can't call it either. After you guys see the debate, make sure you drop in the comments and let us know who you guys think to be. He, well, let's blow this popsicle stand. And they pimped off to make their way back to headquarters. Later that night, I pull up to Tip Crib. She texts me telling me the door unlocked. After I step in, I notice it's a path of candles and rose petals leading all the way up to the dining room where she was standing there looking exotic. Chuckling out. You, you, you something different. You know that? She. I might have heard that a time or two. Ah, I, I bet. Oh, wow. Dinner? She, well, I gotta make sure my man eats. At the table, I could see macaroni, lamb chops, and a green sag. 
She knew she could make me smile for sure. I head over towards her at the table. I walk up and she greet me with a warm embrace. After we hug, we both took our seats at the table. The food smelled good as hell. I was still good from Jerk 48, but I was gonna make it work. I lamb chops, macaroni, ass bad raggies. You snap. She a meal fit for a king. I, you are quite the queen, my lady. She, I try. Before handing me my silverware to regulate my rations, I forked the macaroni and cheese. Superb, I, this good, babe. She made with all the love and care I could muster. Reaching for the lamb and breaking off a piece, I, lamb chop sing along. I bite into it. Spicy and well seasoned. Approved, I, okay. Finger licking good for sure. Reaching for the greenery, I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't really have much experience with the asparagus. Hesitant, I, how this taste for real? She, no, you'll like it. It's lemon based. I, first time tasting asparagus. <laughs> I bite into it. Process the flavor. I, hmm, it's actually not bad. You introducing me to a new way of life. I could actually say I really liked it for real. She, well, I'm glad I was here to witness one of your first experiences. Many more to come. I, I'm sure. So how was your day, queen? Before dog and some more of that macaroni, she, too much to be honest, but you just made it not so bad. How was yours? I, for sure. Um, uh, interesting. To say the least, um, choosing a calm event to share, I gearing up to move into a new apartment, so, um, definitely got some progress with that. I'm hoping to get an answer about it tomorrow. She, oh, that's nice. You could have moved in with me. Ah, oh, yeah. I definitely keep that in mind for future reference. She, yeah, you do that. I want to cuddle and watch a movie tonight, too. Ah. Of course, honey. Whatever you want. She, what type of movie you in the mood for? I, a X-rated one with no shame. She, well, that's the second movie for tonight. What about the first one? I, it don't matter what the first one is. I'ma just be waiting for the second one. Smiling, she, okay. I ate as much as my food as I could and she was finished when I was. We sat down on the couch after that to watch the movie. She turned the TV on and the Chicago news was just airing. She, let's see what's on the news real quick. The news lady, hi, this is Amber Marie Green and I'm reporting live for Chicago Tonight News. Now we watching to see what's to it. She, earlier this afternoon, a man was shot multiple times on Chicago's South Side. I'm never, she, the police have identified the 25 year old man as Carlos Buford. It was pronto. My stomach dropped to my feet. I'm trying to keep my composure while I'm sitting there. Tip, whoever did that to that young man needs to rot in hell. Estimation with a deep sigh. Ah, man, if, if he gonna be in hell, ho hopefully they have a little AC for him. <laughs> the news lady, the police have recovered over 30 shell cases at the scene of the crime. The 25 year old man is now listed in critical condition. Right after that, I get a FaceTime call from the motorcyclist. I already knew what that was about. I, hey babe, um, I need to take this call right quick. Give me a second. She, okay babe, I'ma just scroll through Netflix and see what we can watch. Nod and I get off the couch to take the call. After dipping in the bathroom, I, hello? The motorcyclist, did you see the news by any chance? Scratching my neck, I, uh, nah, I haven't had a chance to turn the tv on today yet he well i hate to be the bearer of bad news but pronto's still alive and he's in critical condition i still alive damn 
he the new 50 cent for real i don't know how he got swiss cheese out there the motorcyclist it's not about how it's about the reality that he's still alive ah nah I, I i feel you for sure bro the motorcyclist i can only give you 24 hours after that it's gonna be a family affair stress me right out ah i uh uh no problem it, it's 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 gonna get done the motorcyclist i hope so i'll talk to you soon and hung up i had a plan though i needed to put it into effect immediately coming out the bathroom tip Bae, is everything okay Ah, uh, yeah i hope so i had something to uh come up with my little sister i gotta take care of it but i'm gonna be right back i i promise i'm gonna be right back i just gotta um take care of this situation um i shouldn't be gone no more than a few hours but i assure you i'm i'm, I'm coming back she oh okay are we still gonna make our movie when you come back uh no question um and it's gonna be a classic putting my shoes on I, a real motion picture for sure she will take my key it's hanging over there on the wall. I look and see it hanging on a little hook. I grab it. Ah, I, I got it. Opening the door. I'll I be back, bag. She, I love you. Ah, I, I love you too. Heart beating with emotion. I headed out the door. That woman did not play about me at all. I went straight to Wally World. I needed to get a few pieces for my costume to execute my plan. Scrubs. I'm talking about the top and bottom comfortable work shoes a thermometer covid mask and blue latex gloves i get dressed and head to the nearest hospital closest to where pronto got shot i step in security hey, excuse me can i help you real quick sir uh yeah i'm just here to start my shift first day he all right okay sir just tap your badge on the door right there I right, whole time they gave me my badge but i accidentally left it at the crib I ain't got no way to get in. You think you could just, you know, give me access? He, I ain't even gonna lie, man. We don't really do that around here, man. That's against protocol, man. You ain't got your badge, man? Ah, hell nah. I was so nervous rushing out for my first day. Man, the moment after an employee walk up, he, hey, bro, aren't you one of them nurses that start today? Turn into him, I, oh, yes, sir. I just forgot my badge. He, you all good, bro. Ain't no problem. It happens. I don't mind tapping you in. Ah, man, blessings. He, open sesame access granny he walked through i follow behind turning around he where'd you go to nurse school at bro don't mind me asking man i uh psh, shit you i see he man bro you know elisa and jamila they actually just end up graduating i uh elisa and jamila um thick as hell right he yeah she is she do got a little something back there gang i ain't gonna lie to you yeah she is something Ah, right, man, I'm already knowing shit. It was hard for me to focus at graduation. Heat man, bro, but I'm sure you already know who precepted you tonight, man. So best of luck, and I hope you have a good night, my guy. And pimped off. I nodded to him and continued my mission. I made my way to where the hospital rooms was at, trying to blend in. Somebody walked to me like, hey, bro, you a nurse? Ah, right, uh, shit, hell yeah. He, I right, man, look, ain't nobody in here giving me answers. I need to know if my homie dead or alive, bro. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, shit. For starters, what 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 was his name? He Sharif Nelson. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Shit. Uh, where they popped him at? He right off 78th of Colfax. Ah, uh, oh no limit. Man, they be tweaking over there. You don't know if it was fooling them or one of them Venezuelans. Let me see what I could uh find out for you, bro. He, I'd right, appreciate you, man. Thank you. Ah, uh, for sure. And hop on this computer nearby. He, man, you a real one, man. I appreciate you for real. I, uh, man, my log and I working, gang. <sighs> uh, man, my bad. I can't even help you, bro. He, you can't help me. Man, you got me fucked up on my dead homie. I want to know what the f going on with my homie. Boy, you tweak. A nurse. Whoa, wait, wait. Hold on. What, what's going on here? Buddy, man, I'm here trying to find out what happened to my peoples. Motherfuckers in here playing with me, bro. I, nah, whole time. This is my first day. And I was trying to log in, but my credentials weren't working. I was trying to access the database. She, okay, well, baby, you come on. Let me help you. You stay right here and guide a buddy to another computer. I'm just hoping this don't lead to my cover being blown. Now, she over there helping him at one of the little medical terminals. I'm standing there. 
I must have turned. Nurse Holden was standing right in front of me. She, you one of the nurses that start tonight, right? Ah, yes, ma'am. She clocked in. She, okay, I got an assignment for you when you get a chance. Ah, all right, for sure. Walking back with the nurse, buddy, I appreciate you. That's all the information I've been looking for all night. Ah, uh, man, blast. I'm glad you got the information you needed for your homie, bro. He, yeah, no thanks to your goof ass. And pimped off. I could empathize with his frustration, though. The nurse, well, baby, if you need help with anything else, just let me know. I know how it is on the first day. I'll be right over here if you need me. And walked away. Ah, yes, ma'am, thank you. Turning the nurse, holding out. Yeah, I'm ready for my little assignment. She, okay, come over here for a minute, please. Walking over to her. So how your night going so far? She, my night is going good. Did they designate an assignment to you already? Thinking quick, I, yeah, uh, was supposed to be this real bad GSW victim that came in a little earlier. She, I think that I know who you're talking about. Let me look that up for you. Ah, blessings. I was getting closer and closer to him. She, is it like a 25 year old male that came through the ER this afternoon with multiple gunshot wounds? Ah, uh, yeah, sounds about right. She, it looks like he's in critical condition as well. He's in room two. Ah, oh man, looks like I better get to it. Thank you so much, queen. She, okay, let me know if you need help with anything else, okay? She lucky I had a girlfriend. Ah, for sure, queen, thank you, and continue my mission. I saw a doctor behind another counter as I was casually trying to walk past. He, hey, excuse me, turn or not? Yes, sir. He, who, who are you assigned to? Ah, uh, a, 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 a male gunshot wound victim in room two? He, you sure? I could have swore somebody else was assigned to that patient. And then check this computer. I, oh no, it's my first day. And um, I, I, I got assigned to shadow the primary nurse for the gunshot wound victim. You know? He, oh, it's your first day. W where you graduate from? Ah, man, you I see. <laughs> He got you. So you must have got your ATLS trauma training over there too? Ah, oh no, I ain't been to ATL in a minute, shit. I don't really like to travel for real, for real. Confused, he. Oh, okay, okay, you must be one of them funny guys. Ah, yeah. Laughing, he. Aight, man, carry on. Nah, then I continue to carry on to my objective. I eventually found the room of Carlos Buford, a.k.a. Pronto. A nurse was in the attendant to him. I step in, looking up, she, excuse me, who is you? Ah, uh, it's my first day, and um, I'm supposed to be in here shadowing. She, I ain't getting no motherfucking memo about nobody shadowing me. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm just following instructions. I clocked in not too long ago. She, well, you need to clock the fuck out. A spicy opponent, but I was trying to keep things cool. With a deep sigh, she, where's your gloves? You not even following proper procedure. I look down at her naked hands. Peep in my line of eyesight, she, don't worry about what the fuck I got on. You the new one. I been here. To keep the peace, I just oblige. I pull my gloves out of my pocket and start putting them on. She, I'm finna go get some supplies, and then I'm finna show you what you need to be doing and walked out the room. Ah, yes, ma'am. Pronto slowly opened his eyes and look at me. I pulled my mask down and look at him. Looking surprised, he, damn, that's how you feel? With a deep sigh, ah, it ain't nothing personal, bro. He, man, I put you on money and everything, bro. What I do to you? Ah, I, I definitely appreciate that money that you put me on for sure, but up and pole, sometimes, Harsh conditions call for harsh measures. He, wow. It was time. I slowly walked over to his bedside, snatched the pillows from behind his head to muffle the shot. I stuffed the nose of the gun in there. Pah, 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 pah. Finished them off and walked right out of the room and out of the hospital unsuspected i hop back in my truck look around and make sure ain't nobody see me and immediately facetime the motorcyclist he late call i hope it's good news ah yeah bro just letting you know it is done he checked out he is that so how can you be so sure i i did it myself i went up to the hospital and got them together 
He, I must say, I am impressed. I for sure. But, but, but we good. We shouldn't have no issues. He, we should be. I'm going to be giving you a call soon to give you another opportunity. He hang up. Another burden off of my shoulders. I was glad to get that done. I pull off the head back to tip crib. I change back into my regular clothes and pull back up to tip slot. I step in. She on the couch, knocked out, looking peaceful, sweet as she could be. I walk over to the couch and take a seat, placing her legs on my lap. Waking up, she, hey, babe, is everything okay with your sister? Ah, oh, yeah, babe. Uh, man, her asthma be acting up. Almost took her about this, but she good, though. Skeptical. Tip, sit up. She, babe, you know you could talk to me about anything, right? Ah, uh, oh, uh, no, for sure, babe. She, I could see it in your face before you left. It seems like it's something deeper going on. Ah, uh, oh, uh, uh, no, babe, just had a long night of Brazil having to take deep breaths. <laughs> she, you sure, babe? I got your back. No question. Hmm. I need y'all help. I legit just came back from popping them off. Now Tipton already showed herself to be like a ride or die type, you know? Supportive. But then at the same time, she still is real life 12. Law enforcement. Should I take that chance and let her in on what's going on? Or should I keep that to myself? Drop it in the comments and let me know. And on the next episode of That's Gonna Be Like Part 119, Part 14, we're gonna see what my next move is. I'm waiting on y'all. Oh God. Had some people that was close to me. They ain't dead, they just smoked to me as old. Yeah. Made they bed and now they laying on it. Be careful what you say, you gotta stand on it. That shit owe it. Don't accept your apology. That shit owe it. Ain't no texting or calling me. That shit owe it.